Hi guys, back from Coffee vs Glass here, and today I'm just going to be doing a really quick video on something to do with my new microphone that I got quite recently, uh, and I did a review on which I'll link to the description uh, in the description below. Um, now one of the things which I found out whilst doing that video and I was very excited to use my new microphone straight away as soon as I got it and possibly do some work with my Mac, I very quickly found out a big problem with what I you know, previously thought was a great laptop and of course still is, but there's one thing which I neglected to even consider when I got this Mac. Uh, if you don't know, previous MacBooks to uh, the Retinas, so pretty much every model since that, um, they've been able to accept audio in via a headphone jack that does headphone out and it also acts as a microphone in. Um, so you can switch in the system preferences, okay, this time I'm plugging something in and I want to use it as a microphone or I'm going to use it as uh, headphones as you would do normally. However, much to my surprise, the current generation and the first Retinas, which is the one I have, it's the first generation Retina 15 inch MacBook Pro, um, the headphone jack is just a headphone jack now. There is no audio in. Uh, I've had a quick look online and it is the same for every model of MacBook Pro Retina now. There are no audio inputs uh, to the Macs, uh, the Retinas especially anymore. Um, the only way you can get audio in now uh, is to do it via USB or Thunderbolt. Now to get around this issue, of course, I didn't want to spend a huge amount of money buying sort of like a USB amp that I can plug into and it's very complicated. I wanted something really, really simple. So I just did some uh, research online and I found this crazy little thing here which literally cost me about three pounds on Amazon. It's simply a USB uh, headphone microphone splitter. Uh, you plug it into a USB port on your Mac and it's got two ports on it, one for headphone, one for microphone. You can see here I've got my microphone plugged into one of the ports which is the microphone. And the great thing about it is that it's completely driverless, you don't need to install any software, you just plug it in, you open the system preferences on your Mac, and you go to the sound settings, you select the input tab, and you'll see that you've got a second option to choose from the input other than the internal microphone, and of course once you switch your microphone on, you'll start to see that it works. So it's an amazingly simple solution. Um, I personally have no idea why Apple took this out of their products to begin with, um, but at least you know that you can do something like this for as little as a few pounds um, to get this working again. So just a really quick video guys talking about uh, my experience with my microphone working with my Mac uh, and just a really quick solution on how you can actually get around it and fix it very, very simply with unfortunately having to add a little piece of extra hardware. Anyway guys, this is Barry from Copper vs Glass and I'll catch you guys in the next video.